oh, BBC and CNN are real journalism. My slanted news is better than your slanted news. Bonafide journalism on CNN, you guys. Bonafide journalism like this, by any chance? Welcome back to Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. My windows are shaking. I'm talking about hurricane season up here in Latvia, where I live, obviously. Trying to get that Coca-Cola spo Coca Cola sponsorship. Maybe if we mentioned it enough times in the video, we will get one. Unlikely. <laughs> if you didn't see earlier this week, ABC News pushed some hard fake footage multiple times across multiple shows of what they claimed was Turkey attacking a Syrian border town. Take a look. ABC is now under fire for pushing out a video that they falsely claim showed a fierce battle between Syrian Kurds and Turkish forces. This video obtained by ABC News appears to show the fury of the Turkish attack on the border town of Tel Aviv. A border town bombarded by Turkey's military. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. The Kurds who fought alongside the U.S. against ISIS. A border town being bombarded by Turkish forces. Of course, it was actually just a firing range in Kentucky, pretty far from Syria, I know. Now, it's pretty obvious Trump gets a lot of support from major news corporations, old rhino Republicans, old Democrats when he's engaging of threats or acts of war. So when he pulls out of an area, it becomes pretty much like clockwork in my eyes that they're going to give him a bunch of heat for it. Oh, he's leaving people behind. He's leaving them to die. He's pulling out too early, which is pretty funny when you think about it. That was the exact same argument against Barack Obama when he was president pulling out of Iraq. Isn't that strange? So when I was seeking out this video uh, a couple days ago to do a video on, I accidentally fell down a fake news hole. And before I get to that, I want to mention to you to subscribe to me on Patreon. Pretty please. I'm up here in the Arctic in the North Pole doing this independently. So just $1 a month would help me out. And of course, we are delisted and deranked as a news channel by YouTube. So sharing and subscribing and liking and commenting and I don't know, screening my name from the top of a building does help. So when I was looking for this video that I showed you, I checked out an RT source for the video. Now, I was surprised to see that YouTube is now dis placing disclaimers below news videos. Uh, specifically on the RT channel, they have this one. RT is funded in whole or in part by the Russian government. Now, there's a couple things with this. First, the fact that they don't even know if it's in part or whole should be your first red, f red flag. In part, in whole, who knows? Just get, just get something up there. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's real or not, or if it's correct or not. Now, to me, this just tells me that what I would have already guessed, that they needed to they need to discredit RT somehow, because it might go against the, I don't want to call it the social justice agenda, the far left agenda. I hate putting labels on these things, but as time goes on, it gets harder and harder to avoid. So I thought, let me check CBC, a nice, friendly Canadian uh, broadcasting corporation, the Canadian government broadcasting news. Let's see if they have a disclaimer on there. And I was right, they did. Maybe they beat me to it. Maybe they thought ahead of me. CBC slash Radio Canada is a Canadian public broadcast service. Such nicer and more friendly terminology. It's not the the evil Russian government and the oligarchs and the, the deep state. It's a friendlier Canadian public broadcast service. First of all, that's not the same thing. You can't just have your own CBC show. It's not a public broadcaster. It's not PBS. It's not your local cable news channel where you can just apply for your own show. That's not what the CBC is in Canada. It is a publicly funded and run government channel. It does CBC Sports. It does CBC News. And it has terrible, terrible CBC um, programming shows that never last. But how would I know I'm not from Canada, right? I'm from Tasmania. It's not a public broadcast service is the main point. It's a government-funded broadcaster, not in part, but in whole. And even if they do make a profit, they don't give any of it back. They take, let's say they take $10 million from the, from the public. It's way more than that. And they make $20 million. They don't give the $10 million back to offset the cost. They keep it. And, you know, you got to keep the propaganda rolling. And to be completely honest... If you watch any of these uh, these news stations, ABC, CNN, CBC, 
BBC, MSNBC, RT is objectively better than all of them. They're better at telling the news. They're better at giving you the straight facts and just letting you determine for yourself. They're better at giving alternative voices. Like Jesse Ventura, for example, is on RT. Uh, Larry King was on RT for a long time. I forgot to do the Jesse Inver in Ventura impression. I don't know. Why don't you tell me, Alex Jones? I wasn't there on 9-11, were you? I'm a former Navy SEAL. How come you won't let me in the building? I'm a former governor, etc. <laughs> Except, of course, when it comes to you know Russia stuff and American stuff, uh, RT's pretty slanted in that. So, of course, it's a government-run news company. You shouldn't trust them, but you shouldn't trust them any more or less than BBC or CBC just because they put a more friendly face on it. It's not that RT comes out there throwing dogs at people or something or abusing puppies. It's just that the other people present them in this evil this evil light just like YouTube has where it's funded by the Russian government. Now, I did forget about BBC News for a bit, so I had to go back and check out what they had written underneath them. BBC is a British public broadcast service. I should have said that differently. BBC is a British public broadcast service. So, of course, we're much nicer to the other government sources that we agree with, but RT is funded by the Russian government, uh, we think. We're not exactly sure. And to be clear, I do not support government-funded news corporations. In Canada, the CBC, I'm fine with there being sports and there being Olympic coverage, stuff that's pretty hard to be biased on, unless you got something crazy going on. You're promoting the country as itself. But in terms of the actual news, I don't support that stuff. And in fact, when I crashed a Rebel Media event, which I think is called Rebel News now, and... When I say crashed, it's not like I went and I spat on people or something. I just sort of showed up out of nowhere. They were like, do you want to buy some merch? They had some Ezra Levant bobbleheads, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but not really. I don't want to buy any merch. But then something caught my eye, and it was the anti-CBC shirt. So I did get it because I don't know about sell the CBC. Sell it to who? That might cost us money. But defund the CBC for sure. And I'm told that this is actually a women's XL, which I haven't looked at yet. And yes, made in Honduras, uh, whatever that means. <sighs> Probably should be made in Canada. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, that, that's not the point here. Women's extra large shirts are not actually the point. The point is nobody can be objective anymore. And on all these disclaimers, they cite Wikipedia. As if that's not a major event happened or somebody's made to be a fool. Like LeBron James the other day, uh, somebody changes it to say that he worked for the Chinese government. So it's not, this is high school stuff here, people. These are high schoolers deciding uh, who gets the better wording on their YouTube channel. Millions upon millions of millions of dollars at stake, advertising revenue, freedom of speech stuff at stake, and we have people who are not even sure what their sources are. Uh, what their sources say, if things are funded fully or funded not fully. And these are the people who are in charge of this stuff, citing Wikipedia. Now, there are two sources on the Wikipedia page for RT, which I guarantee you the people didn't read because they would have had a po more positive answer. One of the articles says that RT is fully funded by the government, and it admits it. it the, I'll get to that in a second. I'll get to that in a second. There's two sources, and we're going to pull it up for you here. The first is from Medium. Top officials have repeatedly argued that the, the move violates freedom of speech and journalistic freedom, freedom, arguing that RT is simply a news agency producing bona fide journalism, like the BBC or CNN. Of course, the most trusted, the most trusted name in news, you guys. They think that they're CNN or the BBC. <laughs> Please. Now, the second source that I was talking about is actually the Washington Post, which lists in it that it's fully funded by the Russian government and also has. Putin quoted as saying that this was a project they started, I think, in 2005 or 2007. The news channel was a government-funded project created to battle the, quote, Anglo-Saxon narrative that's being pushed around the world. So basically to combat the West's viewpoint on the global news scale, they started RT. The net for and he, another quote he says that RT, quote, cannot help but reflect the Russian government's official position. So all these flags... All the stuff in the article confirming that it's a Russian organ government organization. And it's still, we're not sure. But let's make sure we're biased anyways. So here's the quote. The network is officially backed by the Russian government, but positions itself 
as like the BBC, state-funded, but editorial independent. The BBC wouldn't lie to you guys. It's editorially, editorially independent. There's no government agency that would just support the government. That doesn't make any sense. Did you know that in Canada, there was newspapers that were going under open knowledge, open fact that they were going out of business. The Toronto Star is what I'm speaking of specifically. Until Justin Trudeau dished out, I think it's $900 million for, uh, for publications to keep them afloat. There's no way they would be biased, you guys. Just like the government broadcaster would not be biased. It's these subtle little jabs that annoy the hell out of me. Oh, BBC and CNN are real journalism. My slanted news is better than your slanted news. Bonafide journalism on CNN, you guys. Bonafide journalism like this, by any chance? What we're going to do is take an anchor and put them at the desk and tell the news. We're so busy trying to, trying to get appointment viewership. If you're just regular day in, day out, telling the news, you're not going to compete with Fox or MSNBC because we don't, even though we're totally left wing, we're not. We don't want to admit it. You have Jeff Zucker. Is what it basically comes down to Zucker. What does that mean? So, it I mean, means I, that it leans left probably well, because of Zucker. Over the years, we used to cover news. We used to go out and do stories. I mean, we used to cover shit. You know, we would have sent a crew on that Honduras plane that crashed last weekend. We would have sent a crew down there because it was for Americans. You know, Trump is more important than any real world stuff, right? Yeah. What's crazy to me is Obama was caught on camera. <laughs> With the Russian thing, right? Yes. <laughs> Wait till I get in the office and I can and I have more room to negotiate. I have more flexibility. <laughs> and I'm going, holy shit. <laughs> I'm going and I voted for the man. <laughs> but, but but then then Trump's getting hammered for twisting it off. You know what I mean? So if you watch enough news, you'll see their advanced bias. The trick is that I figured out is just blow back blow past any any type of counter argument. Pretend it doesn't even exist. Pretend that the other side, the other view, doesn't even exist, and yours is the normal straight ahead view. You're just one of the people, you know, you're the moral compass, you have the moral high ground, you're just the regular person, and this is how everybody's thinking. So it, it's obvious that this side is the correct one. And slide in the bias when you see fit because you know that you're right. The people, they don't know, they don't know what they want, they don't know what's right, so you have to do it for them. Don't be like the uh, Russia today. Don't don't be all biased and government run, but do be like the CBC and the BBC, bona fide journalism with editorial freedom. That just so happens to be it's just it just happens to be a public broadcast service. It has nothing to do with the government's position, you guys. Oh.